Well, I, I got up this morning, I came into the office, and I start reading, and um, I see a report, and I'm thinking, oh, this is actually an important story. How do you know about domestic terror? How do you know about these militia groups? Who are they? You know, what's growing around us? We are in, we're in trouble in America, and I, we're in trouble because of the activities in Washington. They have taught us not to trust them. The Democrats have taught us not to trust the Republicans, and the Republicans have taught us not to trust the Democrats, and so we didn't, and then we realized, oh my gosh, they're both lying to us. They don't actually stand for a single principle. And so now what happens? Well, now you cling to that boomstick and you worship your sky god. Well, listen up. Here's who's growing. A second, uh, a, a, a government um, uh, has done a study now to help authorities identify domestic terrorists. See if any of these potential warning signs seem familiar. The report was put together by the Missouri Information Analysis Center. It warns that militia members most commonly associate with third-party political groups. They may display constitutional party, campaign for liberty, or libertarian material. Militia members are, quote, usually supporters of Ron Paul, or Chuck Baldwin, or, or Bob Barr. A motivation for militia activity, according to the government now, is the anticipation of the economic collapse of the U.S. government. Uh-oh. And the report continues that militia members may have cartoons and bumper stickers, yes, with anti-government rhetoric. Or sometimes they'll have a Ron Paul bumper sticker, or they'll have this flag, don't tread on me. <gasps> it's a snake. This is a flag that was used during the Revolutionary War. It reads, don't tread on me. The rattlesnake... It has 13 rattles on it, representing the 13 colonies, and they're never to be split apart or it doesn't rattle and warn people. This is our founding fathers. Apparently, one of the most popular among uh, militia members is this flag. If I only had a cartoon, a Ron Paul bumper sticker, and started yelling, get off my land right now, you could safely call me an enemy of the state. Here is libertarian, comedian, and enemy of the state, Penn Gillette. Hello, Penn. <laughs> well, I, I, was, I was taught that being an enemy of the uh, state was part of being an American. I mean, if you wanted to read George Washington, he has more fear of government than, than any of the libertarian nuts we have George, going now. You read I just it. don't know. Penn, how, when was the last time you read uh, Common Sense by uh, Thomas Paine? Uh, it's, it's been it's been a few years now, but it's, read it's it, an important book. Read it again. <laughs> uh, the, you know, I just you read it over the, the, Yeah, I, I read it again over the uh, Christmas holiday because I'm I'm rewriting it, and I, when I read it, it, it I need some rewrites, Glad, from you. Yeah, no, I know. No, I'm just I'm just making it in today's world. I'm just putting okay. the, the issues of today in it. And as sure. I read it, and I thought, my gosh, you write something like this today. You're immediately arrested. You are, oh, you're writing a manifesto. No, I'm pointing out the problems in our society today. And it's, it, all of a sudden, you can't talk about anything. You can't, and it's not just, you know, people are like, well, that's what you get for saying Hollywood should shut its mouth. This is not the same. This is Republicans and Democrats. This is saying if you're an independent, you might not be able to be trusted. Well, this is a real question. I'm, I'm not being uh, rhetorical at all, but the real terrorists, the people that uh, that acted on 9/11, uh, weren't they pretty deeply undercover? Did they have any sort of big, strong uh, uh, Al Qaeda bumper stickers? Did they <laughs> tell people about it? I mean, no. Obama or Osama's that, my guy? No. Uh -uh. But also, uh, T Tim McVeigh in Oklahoma City. Uh, he had the Turner Diaries. He had yes. some of the stuff that's listed in the Missouri thing, but I don't think even he was uh, was very overt in this kind of stuff. No. The it... people that are speaking out, the people that are Ron Paul, Bob Barr, the people who are saying there's some problems with the government, the people like you are not planning violence. You know, they're the, actually the, working within every, the system. Every time you hear about somebody who has done something crazy, it's the same thing. I didn't know he was so quiet. <laughs> you know, you, it, 
the loud nuts, the people that really speak out, are the, you know, if there's going to be some problem from them, it's going to be gathering everyone together. What they're afraid of is not the violence. What they're afraid of is so many people are getting so disgusted with a fake two-party system that's really a one-party system that these people may actually get traction. Okay. It's the bumper stickers they're afraid of, not the guns. Okay, let me, um, uh, let me return with you here in just a second, Penn, but I want you to hang on okay. because I, I, I want you to see the questions uh, that you ask yourself are you a militia member wait until you see some of the stuff some of the stuff is crazy and other things are like well I've been on the internet before you can get all of this and so much more by signing up for my free email newsletter we will include some of these questions at glenbeck.com go there right now and sign up for my free email newsletter and pass it on to your friends <gasps> unless that makes you dangerous more in a second next Libertarian, comedian, enemy of the state, soon to be prison, uh, prisoner number 11741-D, Penn Gillette. Hello, Penn. Hello. Does this make you uncomfortable? <laughs> the whole... You, you should see what I'm... Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm... Uh, no, wait, hang on just a sec. Show my t-shirt. This doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. I just... Because I just threw this old thing on. I just had this laying around yeah. the house. I just... Anyway, Penn, let me ask you some of the questions that this is now according to... And I don't get me wrong. I think this is actually smart of the government to... Because there are crazy nut jobs out there that, you know, mm -hmm. like Timothy McVeigh. Those are crazy people. Um, but the average person that says, hey, I'm a libertarian or... I believe in the founding of our country. Don't tread on me. Those aren't the people that are, you know, buying up fertilizer right now. Those people we should find and watch. But not like for let me just ask some of these questions. OK, this is according to Missouri State. This is this is um, uh, who these uh, militia members are. Uh, Pendulette, do you believe in a global dictatorship called the New World Order, which conspired to exploit the working class citizen? I do not believe in a planned conspiracy, no. Okay. So I'm safe there. Do you, do you believe there are United Nations troops already operating in the United States in support of the New World Order? Uh, I think no. You hesitated on that one? <laughs> yeah. I want to think carefully. I know, this I know. could be in jail for me. I know. I just want to try this one. Do you believe Jews control the monetary system in the media? You're not getting me into that Marlon Brando thing. All right, here we go. Absolutely here we go. Here we go. not. Did there you... are no Jews in show business. None. <laughs> None. Okay. I you... said it. None. Do you ever, did you ever make a maneuver to prepare for the Y2K, uh, Y2K scare? Well, I, I, I talked my mother out of being worried, and I did check the operating system on my computer. So I guess, to be honest, I would have to say yes. <laughs> yeah, I did, too. I mean, I checked the clock. And I did. I was, yeah. I was making all kinds of bogus statements so I could go into the bank and go, look, I had it in writing. I had a hundred <laughs> billion dollars. OK, let me ask you this. Do you believe this is this is one of the earmarks that you might be in a militia? Do you believe President Obama is tight on gun control? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Better watch you. Do you fear President Obama will enact firearm confiscations? Well, confiscations, maybe, sure. Have you ever uh, have you ever been in like a Google chat room or been online on chat rooms? I've been in chat rooms, yeah. Oh boy. I love this question. I don't even know what this one means. None of them political. <laughs> uh, have you <laughs> that <laughs> Anybody think of too much information here? Um, have you been have you tell me what this one even means. Have you ever been seen in public doing community service work? Damn those people! I, yeah, what what is that? What are they? What are they even looking at? For? I don't have any idea. I, mean, I don't. Know. I, I have no idea what that means. I mean, does I that mean even. if you volunteer at a nursing home, you're going to blow something up? Uh, might be. I'm not sure. You know what? Here's the deal, uh, Penn. I appreciate your time. I'd love to have you on again because on Monday I want to do a full hour on this report. And you, I mean, we did it on radio today. You tell me. I mean, a lot of them are like, you know, crazy nut job stuff. But some of them are like, well, wait a minute, I've done that. But Is this day? I'll stick up for the. I'll stick up for the crazy nut jobs too. You're allowed to think and feel and express what you want in this yes. country. Yes. Here's you what we should be watching. If you are not going for violence, you're okay. We thank you. We should be watching the fertilizer stores for non-farmer like people. Absolutely. That's it. Good. Thank and you very much. Okay. It, it, I mean, it's my show. Can we? <laughs>
Go do your magic show. We'll see you again. Thanks a lot, Penn.